Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. A lot of you guys have been asking to see my everyday makeup and stuff and it's been a long time since I have done an updated one. So I figured I would do a little chit chat, get ready with me for a day during quarantine, mostly because we woke up without any internet. No TV, nothing. Um, we have power, like we have lights and stuff, but that's about it. So there's really no other way to pass the time. I can't get working on my blog post, so I figured, you know what? Let's get ready for the day. So it's 9.54. When I get ready, the first thing I like to do is put on an outfit. Um, I typically just pick out something from my new rack, um, and that suits the weather. So that is what I'm wearing today. I will show you guys my outfit at the end of this, because once I'm like all done up and ready, but... We are going to start off by putting my hair in a ponytail. My hair is clean. I washed it last night. This is my natural hair. It is extremely grown out right now. My roots are awful because obviously I haven't gotten my hair done since January when I went back to school. So it actually doesn't look like that bad for being five months since I've gotten it done. But you know, um, I went to bed with it wet so it looks kind of funny but I like to put my hair up just in a low pony while I do my makeup so this is actually going to be kind of a funny get ready with me because I'm like pretty much out of everything when I um when I run out of makeup I typically run out of everything all at once and I'm kind of in that stage right now but during quarantine I've been like mm, do I really care so you'll see throughout this that it's kind of funny the way I've been getting ready lately. But um, the first thing I'm doing is putting on Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream on my face. This says it's for your body. It's not really supposed to be for your face, I don't think. But I'm out of all my moisturizers. Um, I'm out of that too. I usually use the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench, but it's so expensive. I got that like free as like a sample, and I just haven't picked it up since. So... There's like one day's left and I like wait to use it until my skin is really, really dry. But whenever I sit in the sun, which I did yesterday, my face is really dry the next morning. So I just put this on. I don't find that it breaks me out or anything. So I don't really care to, that I'm using face stuff. I mean, body lotion on my face, if that makes sense. Um, my skin is actually pretty good right now. It looks like I have really bad breakouts on my chin and it's just because I self tanned. So whenever I self tan, it like sits on my scars. So it looks like I don't have that great of skin, but you know, I was planning on just wearing concealer today because I'm not doing anything. It's summer. I'm not going to be on camera today. But then, like I said, we had no electricity. So, I mean, no internet. So I figured I would just get ready so that I could have something to do. So for primer, I used e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is one thing that I've not run out of. My big actually put this in one of my baskets and I love it. I use it all the time. So for foundation... I typically switch up my foundation every day based on what color I am because some days I have self tan some days I don't um, and I switch between one of these wet and wilds I switch between one of these Maybellines switch between one of these L'Oreal's and honestly guys I just pick two and mix them together they're pretty much all at the very end of the bottle so I just look at my face and decide hmm, how much self tan is left on my face or how much sun did I get yesterday when I'm sitting out? What what can I make or what can I scrape from the bottle? As you can tell, I am no beauty guru. But I basically just try to make it work with whatever's here. I really need to go to the store. Um, and I should have picked up some foundation when I went to Walmart the other day, but I didn't. So today I'm scraping the bottle of a Wet n Wild foundation. And there's like practically nothing in it, as you can tell, of what's going on in my face. This is actually really comical like that I'm filming this get ready with me today because you're going to see that like this is the struggle for a lot of my makeup right now. Which is part of the reason why I didn't want to get ready this morning but anyways okay. What else can we get out of the bottle? I really need to go to the store. Maybe I'll do that in today's vlog. So now I am aggressively pumping this foundation in hopes to get some on it. Okay, so once I have found the foundation combination that will cover my face, I'm done with foundation. Honestly, my skin is like, I have pretty normal skin. Um, I would say it's on the drier side if I had to lean one way, but um, I don't know. My skin is pretty good, so I find that when I'm at the end of a bunch of bottles of foundation, like mixing it and throwing whatever on my face, color-wise, formula-wise, it really doesn't matter that much, so... 
yeah, I'm just being real with y'all. That is my situation right now. I'm then putting the Maybelline um, Fit Me concealer under my eyes and just on a couple spots that are showing through my makeshift foundation situation. Um, and I do switch between my under eye concealer depending on whatever I'm feeling like or how bad my under eye circles are. Because it's summer now, I should be getting pretty good sleep, but you know, under eye circles are kind of hereditary, so I have pretty bad ones, but I always wear under eye concealer regardless of what it is. I really like the LA Girl Pro one, but I'm out of that one, and the Ulta is really far from here. And Ulta is obviously not essential, and I hate ordering makeup online, so... Um, yeah, just blending that out. I also really like the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's really a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. However, um, my like skin isn't that bad, so I only really use that when my skin looks awful. So now moving on to powder. Here's what's left of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Whenever Rimmel Stay Matte Powder gets really thin towards the bottom, um, it like all breaks into a gazillion pieces and then you're left with this mess. And I'm pretty sure when I go like this, it's not even like picking up anything on the brush except like little chunks, but you know how it is. I'm getting a call this morning. Let's see who it is. Yo. Yep, guys, I think today I'm gonna go to the store. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do it because I really wanna shoot photos Thursday and I don't think this powder and those foundations are gonna get me through there. So don't worry. Um, the next few steps, my makeup routine is like not so sad, like the first few parts. But I'll be honest, this is my quarantine makeup routine. So then I go in with the banana powder from the Anastasia Contour Kit and I put this underneath my eyes. I've had this forever. Um, I've had two of these because I've gone through like these two pans and it's actually cheaper just to buy a whole new palette from TJ Maxx than it is to replace those two pans. So once I run out of those, I'll probably just get a new one. Um, I kind of switch up my blush every day. I either use NARS Orgasm, I use a Real Her one, or I use this Wet n Wild one that is ancient, like probably one of my first makeup products, but I still love it. It's the shade Pearlescent Pink. Like 2012 YouTube was like obsessed with this stuff. So I just smile and put on blush. I think blush is really the defining factor of a look. Uh, blush makes me feel pretty and it's what makes me glowy. So I don't really care if you think this is how you should put blush on or not because I like it. I saw someone, I was watching a makeup tutorial and I never watched them anymore because I don't really care. I do my makeup the same way every day. But this girl was like putting it on here and I was like, I mean, I don't know everything about makeup but I feel like that's not right. So yeah, put some blush on. And then I take this middle shade in my Anastasia contour kit and I just, you know, go to town. So similar to the other products, I am out of my usual brow stuff and I usually use the Maybelline Dip Brow, but I ran out of it like right when I got home from college and I just haven't picked up a new one because I just haven't and it's like $10 and honestly I just had this pencil and I was like alright I guess I'll switch to penciling in my brows for a little bit because I didn't want to pay $10, which I realize sounds really ridiculous, but um pencil seems to be doing fine so this is the essence eyebrow designer pencil this is like two bucks um, and I'm just penciling in my brows let me refree or let me reiterate that this is not a makeup tutorial this is a get ready with me so do not criticize please I am sensitive do not criticize how I am doing my makeup this morning um, this is simply because you guys asked to see how I get ready. So, I use that. I have pretty thin eyebrows, but they're honestly, my mom waxes her eyebrows at home, so I could get them done, like, easily at home. Um, but, I don't know. It seems to, they seem to look fine still. So, now that I've got my eyebrows on, I switch and I do my lashes. Shocker. This is pretty much at the end of the tube, so I pretty much only use this if I'm planning on being, um, like filming a video. And then if I plan on shooting photos, I wear lashes and like use a different mascara to like blend my eyelashes all together, my fake ones with my real ones. But in the meantime, I've been using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise 
it. This is honestly kind of sad probably watching this, but the reason I'm out of everything is because I pretty much buy, I run out of everything all at once, like I always do. And I bought a bunch of makeup in January, like right before I went back to school. And I wear makeup every single day. And I'm like just now running out of everything. So I feel like that's pretty good, like, you know. But I love this stuff. There's so much construction going on outside, so sorry. That's the reason we're out of power. Um, but I love this primer. The primer is not running out nearly as fast as the mascara. And I'm kind of wondering why, because I use the primer every day too. But I think part of it is because the mascara is really dry. Like it, it dried out really fast. It's a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex and I can never get it open. It's very hard to get open because you can see it like dries around the top. What are they doing out there? Okay, so I'm, now I do highlight, and I kind of switch between what highlights I use, so I'm going to show you some of them. Um, I have an Anastasia Glow Kit. I think, yeah, this is the Sun Dipped one, and if I use this, I only use these two shades, but they're a little light for me, but these two are like really weird colors, so I don't wear those. Um, but I use these when I'm a little bit tanner. They kind of blend in a little too much right now. So I either use that or I use Becca's Champagne Pop. But I don't think I'm going to use this today. I think I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. This is so ratchet. I think I've had this for like four years. And I use it every single day for like three of those years until I got those other two highlights. I got those like a year ago. And I still haven't finished it. You can see that there's still some around the pan. Like that's still a lot of highlight technically because you don't really use that much. But I love this stuff. Um, I've traveled with it so much which is why it's broken. But I will 100% repurchase this. I should probably repurchase it before it goes, they discontinue it. But um, one of the best highlights, Wet n Wild highlights are like four bucks a pop, I think. And I love their stuff. I just highlight my brow bone. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll put something in my inner corner. So I guess we'll do that today. You know, just to brighten things up a bit. And then I, you know, do the whole thing. So then for lips, I use the Essence Lip Liner in Big Proposal, and I have very tiny lips, like very tiny lips, like very tiny lips, so um, I like to line them to pretend they're a little bit bigger, give them some shape. And I love the color of this lip liner because it pairs really well with lip gloss or lately what I've been doing because I'm not like a huge lip gloss person if I'm just like hanging out. I wear lip gloss like if I'm going to school, class, out, stuff like that. But I really love the way the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask looks paired with this lip liner. And I know that sounds really weird but I think it's just a really pretty simple color to it. Um, I'm actually not a huge Laneige lip sleeping mask fan. I know people like rave about it. They're like, oh my god, it's the best stuff ever. I rather, I would rather use Blistex. Blistex does a much better job, just the regular pot of it. But I like using it. Like it's not bad, but I don't know. I don't use it every day, and I don't really use it before sleep. I just use it like as lip balm during the day like when I get ready but I don't know I, I don't think it's like all that or like worth that much money I got it as a sample so like I'll use it because of that but when I run out of it I probably wouldn't repurchase and then when I'm done I use the Boschia white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray this is one of the only non-drugstore things I use every day and I really like it my mom actually got it for me for Christmas from TJ Maxx and I'm so glad she got it so we're in the bathroom now I'm gonna do my hair like I said, my hair is, it's seen better days, but um, we're going to give it a nice little curl just because if I curl my hair, it lasts, it can make it to like day three hair. And if I straighten it, it's very rare that my hair will make it to day three hair without looking like an absolute grease ball. So, yep, I don't have that much hair. I have very, very thin hair. Um, and I just use this curling wand, curling iron. It's the Infinity Pro by Conair one and a half inch barrel. Um, it's a real curling iron, but I never use it like that. I typically just curl my hair as if it were a wand and I curl my hair away from my face because that's what my sister says looks best on me. So, yep, I just, you know, I curl it up, folks. That's basically it. But you guys asked. 
Also, my makeup portion, um, it usually takes me about seven minutes to do that makeup. Seven, eight minutes. Very rarely does it take me, my makeup take me more than 10 minutes. If I'm putting on some eyeshadow or fake eyelashes, then it will take me 10, 15 minutes. But, um, the makeup I just showed you is very fast. So when people, like, ask, like, why do you wear makeup every day? Um, it, like, doesn't really take me long to do makeup. And if it makes me feel better, then I think, you know, why not? But... Soon I'm gonna have to start wearing, stop wearing makeup every day unless I get my butt to the store to pick up some new, new stuff because I'm out. I'm really not that lazy, guys. Like usually I'm not like that with my beauty routine. Like I would 100% go the second something runs out, you know, to keep things normal. But it just doesn't really feel like super necessary during this time. So that's why I've been like making do with what I have because, you know seems like the right thing to do. So I don't brush my curls out yet. I just leave them and I'll brush them out once I'm like done. Um, just because I have such fine hair that it will like fall completely if I brush it out right away. So just gonna do the other side of my head. I look so brunette right now, it's honestly sad. Once I'm done with my hair, God, my hair just looks so dark. I hate to be that baby, but like, I'm supposed to be blonde. Um, I'm just, I'm just brushing through my curls. Yep, should have waited before I brushed through this side. Um, and then typically I almost always have to recurl this bottom piece because for some reason this one never stays. So I'm just giving this one a little curl again. You know. And I used to always use the Got To Be Glued hairspray. And the last like month or so, I haven't been using it. I've just been using the GSQ by Glam Squad Volumizing Texture Spray. I talked about this in my current favorite products the other day. This just gives my hair a lot of body and it's pretty tacky, so it kind of acts as a hairspray. I just love this stuff. It makes my hair really awesome on day two and day three hair. So. That's why I kind of like it, and it just gives my curls like a really relaxed feel to it, I guess, um, and gives my hair some body. Like I said, I have very fine, thin hair, so yeah. So this is what I'm wearing today. Um, my top is from my new rack, and I've styled it on the blog, just not like in an outfit of the day. So it's super cute, just a little white eyelet lace top. It's about 60 degrees here today, so... But it's not like a super warm 60, it's more like a brisk 60, so I usually go with a top and jeans when that's the temp. So, super, super cute. And then I'm just wearing low-waisted jeans with it from Express. These have got little rips in the knees. They're some of my favorites. I think they look really, really cute cuffed. I went through a big old preppy phase a while back when I first started my vlog on YouTube four or five years ago. And I loved Jack Rogers. Um... And I have these, this pair of Palm Beach sandals. I have a pair of gold Palm Beach sandals that I got my sophomore year of high school. And while I have completely grown out of the preppy phase, like I don't like Lily Pulitzer, I don't shop at J. Crew, don't wear Vineyard Vines, like none of that stuff anymore. Um, I don't wear statement necklaces. Like I don't wear that kind of stuff, but the one thing that I've never really gotten rid of are my Palm Beach sandals, just because I still think they look really cute. Like with this outfit, I think they're perfect. They don't really give off like a preppy feel, but it's just me wearing white sandals. At least that's how I feel. So I actually got these as part of a deal um, last year, right when I got to, actually, yeah, in like September, right when I got to school. So those are the shoes I'm gonna wear today when we go get Chick-fil-A later. Um, and then I've got on my watch from Fossil and then a couple bracelets. I'm wearing my Sunshine Alex and Anis that Connor gave me a while back, my Mantra Band and like one other random bracelet. Those are typically the ones I wear if I do wear bracelets. And I just have these earrings on from Walmart. Um, these are pretty old. I don't think they're in stock anymore. And if I do grab a bag, I would probably grab this one. You know, just a little springy look. Hope you guys can like get a better um, look at my makeup and my hair. This is what I look like. It's what I look like pretty much every day. This is my typical makeup routine. Like I said, unless I am shooting photos that day and then I will wear fake eyelashes, but I will basically do the exact same thing. At school, my makeup routine's a little bit different, but not too much. 
but yeah that's kind of my makeshift get ready with me during quarantine i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for following along be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more like it and if you have any recommendations at all for videos you want to see be sure to leave them below i will talk to you guys in my next one peace out girl scouts